Beware of religious atheists. Hmm. You say, there is no such thing as a religious atheist. Oh, actually, yes, there is. Psalm 14, verse 1, down through 3. Get that in one hand. Atheists out there freaking out. We don't believe the Bible. We don't believe the Bible. Yeah, yes, I know. I know. I know. <laughs> it's so fun to deal with atheists. We don't believe in your book of fairy tales. We don't... Uh, okay. Um, well, just get one of these Bibles and look up some things just to, to see if I'm telling you the truth or not. Don't have to believe what you're reading, but just check and see, is this preacher actually telling me the truth? You know, it's, it's not going to bite you, right? Look out. Oh, it's a Bible. Oh, look out. Poor atheist. Psalm 14, verses 1 through 3. Here is secular atheist. The fool hath said in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. Remember that. There is none that doeth good. The Lord looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand and seek God. They are all gone aside, and they are all together become filthy. There is none that doeth good. No, not one. That's why he had to die on the cross to pay for your sins, because you're too rotten to, to be a good enough person to make it to heaven. And so am I. All right? But the fool hath said in his heart, there is no God. Keep your hand there and go to Titus chapter 1, verse 16. They profess that they know God. Um, who are the people that profess that they know God? Not believe in a God, or I think that there could be a... No, no, no. They, they profess that they know God. People in religion. That's who it is. They profess that they know God, but in works they deny Him. Being abominable. Hmm. And disobedient and unto every good work reprobate. Religious atheists. You say, well, I just don't want to give me a couple examples. How about the Catholic pervert priests that rape children? I said, well, that's, that's organized religion for you. Oh, uh, no, that's religious atheism for you. Um, would those priests be raping those children if they really believed that they were going to stand before a holy, righteous God that saw everything that they did and judged them for it? No, they wouldn't. Um, would they really rape children if they understood that there is an eternal hell burning down there? One day going to become a lake of fire, I understand. But would they believe that? Or would they do, would they, excuse me, would they do the things, raping children and things, if they believed in an eternal hell? No, they wouldn't. You see. Um, the uh, used car salesman that goes to church that rips you off, lies to your face. Would he do that if, uh, if he believed in God, like he actually professes to do? No. You see, the only people that you can truly trust are those of us Christians, born-again Christians like myself, and there's others out there, but those of us that actually believe this book and try our best to live by this book. We're the ones that you can trust. All the other religious people out there are atheists. That's all. And um, you don't judge them by their profession either. Uh, see, that's a, that's a real uh, tough nut to crack for some of these people out there that say all it is is just your belief, it's just your profession. You say you're a Christian, well, you're in. Uh, that's not what the text says. Those people profess that they know God, but in works they deny Him. You judge a Christian by the fruit that they bear. You judge them by their works. Did their life change? If there's some kind of a crooked, wicked devil that does evil things that, that uh, if God exists, that, you know, and they're going to be judged by that, they wouldn't possibly be doing those things. Well, then you're dealing with a false convert, you see. Hmm. Very interesting. Um, be careful of religious atheists. Uh, the fact of the matter is, you know, they say atheism is just a small percentage of the people. Well, secular atheism, I mean, you have to be a real fool to believe that everything came from nothing accidentally at some unknown time in the past, and you're nothing more than an animal with no purpose in life. I mean, Boy, happy times are here again, you know. Um, I mean, uh, that's, that's a small minority. But the truth of the matter is, religious atheism is the majority of people. Um, Muslims and, and, and Catholics and things like that, the two biggest uh, religious atheist cults in the, in the world, um, they're filled with people that profess that they know God, but in works they deny Him. And they're abominable. I remember hearing a story back in Pennsylvania, back when I lived there uh, many years ago. I was born and raised in Pennsylvania. I live in Maine now. But there was a couple in Pennsylvania that uh, they were foster parents to, to children that were mentally disabled. 
a Down syndrome type of children. And they were keeping these children in the basement and feeding them peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. They had them in cages in the basement. Good uh, Catholics, church going Catholics, very faithful. And everybody was so shocked because this couple was such, a, they were such nice people. And how could they be doing something so, so vile and so cruel? Um, because they professed that they knew God, but in works they denied Him. They were abominable. Yeah. So, my advice to you, watch out for religious atheists. Um, in many ways, they're more uh, as dangerous, maybe even more dangerous than secular atheists. So that's going to be it. Thank you for watching.